Oh, hi, Lindsay, you there. Welcome to the Tuesday update of the Awkward Vlog with me, Jimmy Richards, from the Awkward Turtle. It's me again. So I'd say I'm probably going to do these updates, like, maybe twice a week. Do Tuesday to Friday. New song on Friday, obviously. I just feel like talking to a camera. I feel like the camera's my friend. They probably hate me, too. I'm so angsty. But, uh, a little bit of news. I got some great feedback on the vlog from last week. Thanks to everyone who watched it. I'm glad you all liked it. That was pretty cool. I uh, definitely think we're going to be doing more of these. Uh, don't know if we'll do more of these talking ones. I'm rapidly running out of things to say. I've only just started. And there was one news story I wanted to talk about. It's a story that comes from Queensland, Australia. Probably everyone's heard it already. But I'm going to talk about it anyway because I can. Uh, it's a story about uh, religious instruction classes in Queensland, Australia. Primary school age kids are having their lessons hijacked by fundamentalist Christians, right? Who are feeding them a ton of misinformation about intelligent design, creation science, as they'll call it. Uh, or as I call a bunch of hooey. Obviously, <laughs> this is kind of retarded. Are we trying to say that dinosaurs and people walk together? Because really, you know, I can get behind that. We're considering this in the wrong way, perhaps. Maybe we should be thinking about what the most awesome possibility is. Our past was more like Jurassic Park. Obviously, this is crap, but I'm trying to make humor out of it. It's kind of my thing. But uh, it reminded me of a great song by uh, the American satirist and YouTube star Roy Zimmerman. Uh, Roy wrote a song in 2006 called Creation Science 101. It was during the big explosion out there with the idea of intelligent design being taught in science classes alongside natural selection. I've got to post a link to it in the underbar. I was just checking that stuff out. Roy's a fantastic songwriter and a fantastic musician as well. I would check out some of his stuff. In the meantime, I'm in the middle of planning a little bit of an epic journey next week. Call, my colleague Joe Dunnigan gave me a little message last night asking if I'd be keen on walking the West Highland Way. Uh, the West Highland Way is a footpath of sorts between Mulgai, which is just on the north side of Glasgow, uh, and it goes all the way to Fort William, right in the shadow of Ben Nevis. It's about 154 miles. We'll be walking over the course of four or five days, probably. Uh, we might be joined by some other folk as well, wait to be confirmed, of course. But it means I'm not going to be around to make updates next week, so I'm going to leave some pre-recorded things. One of them is a very special ukulele cover. And obviously there'll be the, the song a week for the Awkward Vlog on Friday, which I'm going to record in advance. Yeah, this weekend, for anyone who's in Glasgow, I'll be playing sh two shows over the weekend at Delmonica's, which is a gay bar down in the Merchant City. I'll be playing with the fantastic Lindsay Kelly. But we'll be playing on Saturday night and Sunday night, and it should be fun. And then I leave on the Monday, hopefully, to go walking with my good friend Joe. We're going to have some fun on the road. Fantastic character. So I'm hoping for a bit of Joe banter on the road. Just like old times. I don't know why I put on a voice when I say old times. <sighs> Clearly I'm crazy. But anyway, that's pretty much all I've got for this Tuesday update. A new song on Friday, of course. Oh, and I've just discovered, apparently, this is the Discovery Channel's Shark Week. So expect a slightly shark-themed update, because sharks are awesome. Anyway, this has been fun, but I'm going to have to put the camera down there before I get too attached. Remind me to tell you a story of a friend of mine who fell for an iPhone 4 with hilarious consequences. Peace out, kids. I'll see you all on Friday. Much love. Sorry, I had to rub my nose there.